Hey everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. It's been a long time that I haven't made any videos and I'm back after almost a month. I'm so happy to make some videos and interact with you guys and I hope you all are also very good. And if you are already subscribed to me then you already know that I have been doing the e-commerce series and we'll be continuing that in this video. And today we'll be converting Laravel mix to wheat. If you are following Bujia's author Ivan Yu, then you might already know that he has created Wheat, which is the fastest way to bundle our assets. Before, whenever we used to run npm run dev, then it would use Laravel mix under the hood. And it is very good, but Wheat is much more faster than that. And from, I think, Laravel version 9.18 or 19, whenever you install a new Laravel, it will automatically add Wheat as a default asset bundler. And now in this video, we'll be looking at how to move Laravel mix to Wheat. I always used to call it Wheat, but I just heard it is announced as Wheat by the author himself. So I'll be calling Wheat. And I think in the French language, it is fast. And before starting this video, I'd like you to introduce to this whole series sponsor, which is Cloudways. Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you. And you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server and it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. So now let's get started. Currently I am here in the Laravel Breeze this GitHub repo and let me just go over here in the releases and just search for Vit. Then you can see here 1.10.0 has Vit. And similarly, here also we have Vit. Some of the changes are done over here. We will just look into the changes that are made here and then look at how to change mix to Vit. So I'll open this. And here, this is one thing that we need to change and there are also some other things that we need to change. So I'll go here in the files changed and we don't have to look into each and every file. We are using Inertia.js with view in our project. So we'll look into that. First of all, we'll look here in the default app.js and it is like this. Wherever we are using this require, now we have to replace it with import because bit works well with import. So I'll just copy this and I'll go here in the project. This is the e-commerce project. And here, yes, I'm using white theme. So let me change the theme. Cobalt 2. Toggle status bar visibility. Okay. Now let me go to app.js. So it's, it is here in the resources JS admin app.js. And now here we are seeing this British tab, but it is commented. But let us just replace this and comment it out. And if we go here again, then there are other things that we need to look at. This is inertia react. We don't need to look at it. Inertia view. So here app.js. This thing is changed. And bootstrap.js. We are not using bootstrap.js. But let's say in the future we use it. Then we'll make sure that we'll not get any error. So here it is on the same folder over here in the bootstrap. So everywhere we are using this required. We have to change it into import. So let me just copy this thing and paste it over here. Similarly for the Axios as well. Over here and finally we have to do it for the pusher. So here we have to just do it like this. Let us just keep this like this. So okay, these two things that we have done, these are the only two things, but we have to change so many other things as well. So I'll just remove this. And the major thing is over here. This is the major release. So I'll just click over here. And now if I just go here in the files changed, then you can see a file changed, but we don't have to look into all the files. I'll just look here. I'll just look here over here is tops default. 
postcss.config.js. If you are using any postcss plugins, then you have to create this postcss.config.js file in the root of your project. We are using Tailwind CSS, so we need to do this. So here we'll just copy this content and come here. Let me just click here in the env and create here postcss.config.js and I'll paste that content over here. And after we create this, everything of the Tailwind CSS will be automatically handled by the Laravel. Okay, now here in the app blade.php, we can see here these things, but we don't have to do it because it is for the default Laravel. But we are using it for inertia JS, so we will not do this. But we'll go here in the inertia common here in the app.blade.php and we'll include this. We'll go here in the app.blade.php and here just below the routes we'll add this if you see here routes is over here and it is over here we are not including css because we'll import that inside our script because the byte plays nicely whenever you import the css inside the js we don't have to look in the webpack mix js because we'll remove that similarly we'll go here in the inertia view and here in the app js we'll do these things you can see here the css is being imported over here and we'll could just go here in the app.js and it is just being imported below this so we'll just add it over here but this is not here if you see here it is not inside this the same directory so we'll just do it like this dot dot slash css slash admin slash app dot css like this and then we'll just copy these things from here after inertia progress we'll add this and also this thing is not here so we'll do like this and now they will be available because it is inside this admin folder so we had to do it like this double triple okay after this we'll just replace our previous code with this this resolve one so here where is the resolve so it's over here so we'll just replace this with this and then this one use ziggy view so we'll just replace this with this use ziggy view okay this is done inside the bootstrap js we have already done the changes but we have to do it this also so before we had to use this mix underscore in order to get the environment variables dot env file variables in the js but now we have to do this import dot meta dot env and byte underscore like this so let me just go over here and replace this thing with this and i'll go here in the dot env file and just go over here and we have to do it like this i have already done it before before here it was mix underscore and mix underscore and i had changed it to byte if we do it like this then we can access that here in the javascript like this Okay, this thing is also changed and we are not dealing with SSR, so we'll not look into it. And white.config.js, this is the main thing that we need to change. I'll just copy this and we'll create this new file in the root directory, white.config.js. So I'll just go over here and create a new file, white.config.js and paste it over here. And we can also just do it like this suppose let's say we want multiple files over here then we can add it as an array so we can also do it like this and here it is just doing some internal thing and just making sure that the assets are properly rendered so this is the base url of the asset leave it as it is and it will work perfectly fine and include absolute when you add false over here it will just ignore the absolutely added path in your template just leave it as it is you can see here some of the plugins that are being added over here we'll add this or install this from npm as well and this is from the ssr we don't need to do anything over here so let me close this and now also here also we are seeing here resources js and here we'll do admin slash app.js because we have this app.js inside the admin folder if you just see it over here, resources js admin and then here like this and you can see all the changes over here now the thing that we need to do is here so i have just done it npm remove laravel mix we will remove the laravel mix and then we will remove this webpack.mix.js and webpack.config.js because we don't need those 
if you have git initialized in your project then you can still see these files if they are removed in the git here in this source control so i'll just do it like this it will remove the laravel mix and then webpack and this and if you just see here in the webpack over here these are the things this thing it is automatically handled by the post css and this config if you just look here inside this config then we have this alias yeah we'll just copy this thing from here and add here in the white config and after the plugins we'll add this over here and then it will automatically work for us otherwise it will not be able to resolve the components in our project if we don't write this then it will just take the path as resources slash js by default but we have components inside the admin folder so we'll write this so we have done this now we'll just install these some plugins this white laravel white plugin and then pyjs plugin view okay after this we have to go here in the package.json file and before we had this so everything is related to the mix now we have to change this for that let me go here in this laravel documentation github laravel slash laravel and if you just go over here in this package.json then you will see these scripts over here these are changed so we'll just go over here and replace all this code with this but now there can be some confusion in the beginning because whenever we wrote here npm run dev before it used to run this code and compile all the assets and it is done and it didn't used to watch anything but now when we run npm run dev then it will watch for the changes and when we run npm run build then it will just work as npm run production and we can just change it as per our use so that will not get confused so i'll just write here watch and now we'll just duplicate this we'll say here dev and let's say prod like this and it will just work as before the watch will watch and the dev will do the dev thing and the prod will just do the production thing because we don't have this development built in the white since it is very fast so we'll just do white build okay so first of all we'll just do npm run dev and it is saying that could not resolve the entry point index.html and if we just look here in the let's go here inside this pyconfig.js oh yeah so here we need to we don't need to write here path the result we can just write here resources.js admin like this and it will just work under the hood okay now let us again run this npm run dev okay and it is again showing this error and i just looked into it and it should be like this over here and also one thing that we need to do is we need to upgrade our laravel <laughs> because it is only available on the latest version of laravel so i'll do composer update like this okay after this we need to run this npm run dev it took a while for me to figure it out guys it was just a simple mistake and i know that you already saw that <laughs> The issue was this file name. I had to name it as byte.config.js, but it is bytes.config.js. So let me go over here and let me just rename it as byte.config.js. And now let me run npm run dev. And you can see here everything is compiled and it is super fast. And also one thing that I have changed over here is this this admin slash app.js before there wasn't admin over here i haven't added that now i have done this and also in order to watch the changes you can do npm run watch and it is watching and you can see here it is showing us this url so i'll just go over here in the ecommerce.test and let's say go here in our admin dashboard and you can see here it is loading perfectly fine and if you open the console over here then it is showing this connecting the byte so let me just go over here dashboard dot view and here let me say dashboard new or oh, not here but here let's say new like this and save it and come here then you can see here it is already changed it is hot reloading and it is super fast you don't have to come here and refresh the page suppose let's say you did some change here in the app dot blade dot php file over here then you need to reload the page 
here it is not reloading the page it is just hot reloading which means it is swapping the content but if you change something over here then you need to reload the page for that case you need to just go over here in this byte config js and then you can just do here refresh equals to true like this and we can also make it as array over here if we want multiple files to be compiled now here let me just let's say over here low rem like this come here and over here then it is saying this 404 but let me just close this and npm run watch one more time and just refresh over here you just saw this low rem ipsum and now if i just come here and just and come again here then you can see here it just reloaded for a while so just to show you guys i'll just go here in this slow 3g and i'll just write here low rem like this save it and come here then you can see here it is reloading over here you can see the icon over here now i can just turn it to no throttling and it will be super fast so that's all guys this is how you change laravel mix to white in a laravel project i hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this keep supporting keep loving i'll see you in the next one bye